Well, I am back. It is it is your boy Russ, and on this episode three of Pokemon Sword Crown Tundra DLC, we are plant looking to plant the carrot seeds for Calyrex. And actually catch him in this episode, hopefully. So last episode I got a little raw lost in the details. Not reading all the books. But just going off that in general, I can go ahead and start up on this episode. So let's see how where, how long this takes us. So here it goes. Oh shit. Nana. Sing that song about the king's Pokemon, Steed po Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear, I love to. Ice carrots, cold as ice, munched up all the bully and white. Shade root carrots as dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly do gloom. Now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. Aw, little girl. Alright, let's find that um, Doom Gloom area. So, it's gonna be past here, though. I'm assuming, anyway. Come on. There we go. Damn, bronze on. I'm gonna see if I can get down to that part and see if I can find where that field is to plant the carrots. Oh, here it is. And speaking of Trevenant. Dra Damn, Dragapult. What the heck, Nidoran? Oh, found a rare candy. These following Pokemon getting stuck is hilarious. It's like, what the hell, Game Freak? Uh, 
I gotta go around. I hope uh, I hope I find a shiny Pokemon while actually sh recording all this. I really do hope at some point. I didn't even see this Dragon Ball here, like seriously. I have a little too many encounters too in the past like not even minute. Well, this is where you plan it. It's one of the fields Calyrex told you about. Do you want to plant the carrot seeds in this field? I see you have reached one of the fields. If you plant the seeds in this field, shade root carrots will grow. It's been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyal seed would often partake of this sort of vegetable. If shade root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been ghost type, mustn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall, I suppose we'll see. I will ask, but once more, are you sure this is the field in which you want to plant the seeds? Yes. Very well. Then I ask you plant the seeds. You plant the carrot seeds in the field. Ka ha ha. Very well. Good. Very good, very good. You have a vi able hand for working with soul now then it's time I did my part let me show you my powers what the hell I'm gonna save that You planted so many seeds and yet my power can only get you one? To think I've fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart, but soon it'll be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now human child, I must ask that you pull that shade root carrot with all your might. Yeah, I'll do that in just a sec. Hope Pull the carrot out? Yeah. One, two, and pull. You attain a shade root carrot. Produce that the king of Bountiful Harvest beloved seed likes to eat. It grew in a gloomy field. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal seed back to me. Now, all I need are the ruins of unity. They will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the, in the village. Oh, there he goes. He was watching us. What? Spectre? My loyal steed? Is that you? That glossy black pelt, that rough, violent gallop, it has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, this... how this brings back memories. It is my belief that while my steed picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off in, it must be heading to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then Friesenton's in danger, human child. We must make haste. Alright, back to the village it is.
see, I like how with the DLC, how they're not making everything like, like version exclusive. It's like you have a choice in the matter of, of what you, what Pokemon you want or interested in at the very least. Because any other, you know, any other Pokemon game before this game, it would have been like, oh, the Ghost one would have been in this one, and and Ice would have been in Shield. But in this case, you can actually choose. And I will give respect to Game Freak on that regard, at the very least. A huge Pokemon like that could lay waste to a whole village? Please someone get it to settle down. That Pokemon, is it one of the ones from the fairy tale? Please help, there's a Pokemon threatening our village. Yeah, we should be good to go. this music. I know we uh, yeah I was gonna say I know we can't catch it yet anyway but still like what the hell yo that music goes ham and what little power he has to control it. Yeah, that old lady saw her eyes flash for her eyes. It felt like something steeped in the save me. Picked up a turf of black mane hair. A mane hair that belongs to the King of Bountiful Harvest's beloved steed, Spectre. The hair is very smooth to the touch. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tale, the loyal steed of the king. But I have no doubt overthinking things. What is that you have there? Is that a Turk or black mane hair? In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyalty together with a radiant bloom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reign of unity which links the king with his steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave to the reign of unity following an ancient tradition passed down over the many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower and the method of making the rain also have been lost to time. In any case, we can't sp spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could decide well decide to pay us another visit after all. 
Thanks very much for your help, kind traveler. Yeah, I just noticed Calrex has Triforces in his eye, too. You have my thanks for t protecting the village, human child. Were I at full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence his will and make it depart. If I only had the reign of unity, that would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. We can make a set. What's that? We can make a set with reins, with main hair from my little steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower. A flower. Yes, but of course. I assume that the humans stopped making the reign of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it's because I lost the power to grow the materials I needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many cent centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower, doing so drain so much of my power. But for whatever reason... Damn, I skipped it. Too there is only one thing to be done. Let's th let the radiant flower bloom. Take this, human child. You attained a radiant petal. A single petal that the king of Bountiful Harvest gave you a radiance faint light <laughs> it ashames me to admit but a whole flower is beyond me right now i do not know if a petal will be enough but i must ask that you try to use it to create the reins of unity the descendants of the family who once made the reins should still live in the village i put my hopes on you home human child Oh, hello again, savior of a village. Come to do some more reading? Not this time. I need a favor. I beg your pardon? You want me to make a set of reigns of unity? Well, I say that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-great-dad... Great-granddad, excuse me, were still around, he would have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately... No one left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What more, I doubt you have the flower you'd be able to forge instead of the rings. I got a petal at least. Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the king of bountiful harvest has truly? No, no, I did not dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made the reign of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and hairs from a Pokemon, but I'm afraid those old traditions have long since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please? You handed the turf of black hair mane and the radiant petals over to the mirror. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great granddad would have made, but time to breathe life back into the traditions of the, my village. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself a crafty enough s sort, but I suppose it'll take a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine rings oh please don't look 
dejected. I'm very sorry. I'm truly am. Oi, Mayor. Mr. Mayor. The hot water and the sh shower seems to have gone on holiday. Oh, yes. Terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief? We're in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awfully gloomy. Here's what happened. Is that all? Gah, gah, gah. So all you need is to do is make some nice cord. Pass those materials for a mo. Mo isn't for a moment. All right, got my pedal, got my hair. Now what I'm supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legend. Bloom woven round and round, a royal gift in main hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The singing's a bit much. Oh, well, that'll do for an answer. I'll finish. Have a look. Think this will do? You attain a set of reigns of unity. Chords that shine when you hold them up to the light. The people of old times presented these to the king of bountiful harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable to, you're capable than your face lets on. These reigns of unity are, are the splitting image of those in my family's tales. I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly, chief. <clears throat> In any case, it seems you got the reins of unity you need. Is that, isn't that just smashing? Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at her base, but the water coming out was ice cold. I got ultra mega surprised. And this nigga got taken over again. Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Sure was. Oh joy, what glorious news. I have some good news of my own. I was able to track down my loyalty. Spectre is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyalty and I spent much time. I have been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped in my own nostalgia. Why has my loyalty made this shrine its home? Is it reminiscing about our times together? No, it can't be. The Crown Shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel like it. I'm counting on you, child. And he just takes Peony with him, too. And because I magically discovered it last episode, I can just fly right up there. Oh, shit. Yeah, because last time Spectre was actually looking at us when we pulled up. Alright, so I'm going to check my bag. I legit hope I have enough Pokeballs to catch this nigga. Yeah, we should be good. I just need to not um, kill him in one hit, so I'm gonna check my box real quick and see what I got. Thunder wave will do.
Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Save real quick. I have been waiting, human child. The crown shrine is a place I once called home. Spectre must think me helpless now that I have lost my power. It taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, I see you have indeed brought me the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. You gave over the reins of unity to Calrex. Ah, the feeling of holding these again. The color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, how this brings back memories. Spectre is a very proud Pokemon. One might even call it arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I'm able to prove that my power outlays its own. I will use the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal seed. That should convince it that I am still indeed deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order to loyal my lure my loyal steed to me, place the shade root carrot into the basket near where Spectres made its bed. Yes, I do. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully deleted, de defeated my loyal seed once already. It will not hesitate, willingly approach anyone it considers to be a friend. We must hide and wait for it to appear. I got so happy. <laughs> I think it wakes up and sees this shit. What in the world? Such a huge noggin and it got a ride? It can talk? Well, what do you want? I got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it also makes sense. Hold the phone. What in the world are you doing? Not again! Human child, thanks to your efforts, I have been reunited, reunited with my loyal steed, and now I am finally at full power. I was convinced that the people no longer believed in me, and I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the fr 
in the throes of deep lo loneliness. But you saved me. There are truly no words to which to fully express my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. If you are able to catch me even with my power restored, it will prove your worth beyond any doubt and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. Ah, but first I should get this man back to where I found him. It would be no good to let him freeze out here in the frigid climb. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we should be good. I'll go ahead and catch this nigga. I'm gonna drop off one of my mons. Because I want him in the party when I grab him. save one last time and hopefully it doesn't take take forever for me to catch him <laughs> do you want to ready your pokeballs in order to catch calrex Damage, bro. I hope I don't kill it this time. Just perfect. All right. I'm gonna try it. get caught in the friend ball. needs to stay in the oh shit damn it well i'ma backtrack real quick all right yeah this is so not professional but whatever i'm sure he would respond right there again until we catch him but still i said at this point might as well try and catch him
that does some damage, like legit. this time. Come on, stay. is being difficult like legit At this point, the balls are legit only shaking like once. Kind of getting a little repetitive at this point because now the ball's only shaking once. So, I ultra balls are supposed to be the best pokeballs, but like, come on now. What type of RNG crap or RNG crap is that? Bro, an Ultra Ball is supposedly better than a better than a Great Ball, but yet the motherfucker st got stayed in it the first Great Ball. But then I chugged like 15, 15 Ultra Balls at this mofo and don't make no damn sense. What type of game logic is that, Game Freak? Hey, at least the mofo stayed in the Pokeball. That's not, that's all I care about. Calyrex's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is said Calyrex and a Pokemon that had bonded with it ran across all Gala region to bring green to the wastelands. All right, so I'm a I'm a pause for a minute. Well, it's not like the recording's gonna get paused, but I'm legit on 
not Twitter, excuse me. Um, let's see. There we go. So I'm looking up because Calyrex has, you know, Triforces on it. I typically nickname my, my, my Pokemon. So I was thinking naming it after a Hylian King from The Legend of Zelda. So right now I'm just looking up some names real quick, but I should have probably had it ready before the recording, but I didn't think Calrix was going to take this freaking long to catch. So... I'm going to name them after the king in um, Hot Breath of the Wild. So... I doubt I have enough space to spell Ross for Hamas. That's... Yeah, they got something like their middle names are so he okay like the king i think i think this is the king from the king of red lions is daphnis no hansen or hyrule the king in breath of the wild is rome bolsaramus hyrule yeah there ain't no way in hell i'm gonna spell that shit <laughs> not like i would but If I decide to change the name later, I will, but at least I nicknamed it. Alright, let's get this shit out on the road. <laughs> Human child. No, I should refer to you by your name now. Russell. I look forward to what adventures we might have together. Hello, is that you, Chief? It's me, Peony. I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking and in some weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It felt all so real. I got worried about you and decided I'll give you a call and check in. You haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not in a bunch of trouble, are you? I'm fine. Ah, that's good to hear. Guess I got nothing to worry about then. The Peony Exploration Team is all about the safety and well-being of its members, after all. So you be careful on your way back, too, you hear? No expeditions over until you're safe and sound back home. Alright, I'm gonna check this nigga's stats. This is broken. He has two abilities. He's a bold nature. That's that's all right. All right. So let's go ahead back to Peony. I must have went into like a mammoth. Actually, there is two things I want to do real quick before I end the stream. So I'm going to go to my mom's real quick.
Let's check this nigga out. See how we use in battle real quick. Oi, oi, chief, how's the adventure? Anything to report? Wait, you really caught Calyrex from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. That's Noggin's massive. Is that the king of Bountiful Harvest? The one they're calling the shots around here? I could have sworn I've seen it before, or then again, maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely regal. Of it to have a steed and that massive head does it resemble a crown it's kingly enough at any rate let's call this a successful expedition looks like you reported all there is to report on legendary clue one and the king of bountiful harvest i'll mark this expedition done Well, let me see, where is it? This is kind of dope. Well, I'm gonna call it an end of a video. Like and subscribe if you feel like, dislike if it's necessary and whatnot. Um, I don't really have any encouraging words for today. I guess you know, treat others how you want to be treated, and always risk and um, always respect those that are in lower positions. And what I mean by lower positions is, is like, if a person has a job that's like necessary that has to be done such as perhaps like a food service worker or a maintenance worker or some shit respect them as an individual because they're doing hard enough jobs you shouldn't make a job hard enough for anyone else unless they make it harder for do some for themselves you get what i'm saying but i guess i'm gonna head on out have a nice goddamn day and y'all have a good one well before I'm, I'm gonna do one more battle. I'm gonna do at least one more battle. But yeah, I that's really it though. Just it's just crazy. I'm gonna see if I beat this all now and then and then I'm done.